Did you just see Blue Peter? Yep. That was incredible. What was that then? What did the Whistling Village? An entire village that communicates just with whistling. That is astounding. It was quite good. Quite good. One guy whistles from one end of the village and the guys at the other end know exactly what he's talking about. Except they did have a little bit of help from me. There was no help. Just whistling. He whistles. The others know to pat their head and do a little dance. I, I'm, I'm speechless. Jeff, it's just been on. How did you miss it? I was telling them what to do. No one can understand whistles. I just didn't want Helen to be disappointed. Dan, you're delusional. I saw Andy, I saw Helen, I saw Joel, I saw whistling men. I did not see you because you were here all summer. Jeff, for the last time, I was in Turkey all summer with my bestest friends, Andy, Helen and Joel. I was in the whistling village telling them what to do. Have a look, Jeff. Can we make them... Cut their heads. Could Engen give instructions to his neighbours at the other end of the street purely by whistling? <whistles> Oi, guys, pat your head. Nice one. <whistles> I did it, look at it. Hey! <whistles> okay, um, Engen, can you try and get them to dance? Do a little dance. Yeah, that'll do. They're doing it now. Look, look they're doing it. Oh, hey! So far, so good. Me telling them what to do. Without me, it'd just be a village, not a whistling village. I'm like their leader. I give the command. I just watched Blue Peter. I didn't see that at all. Oh, well, I'm a big star on Blue Peter now, Jim. Yeah. So what was the village like? Ah, not bad, actually. It reminded me a lot of Wickham. People are lovely. Huh. Only one problem. What's that? Well, if you talk too long, a bird comes and sits on your head. <laughs> what, because you're whistling like a bird? No, they just put seed in their hair. Right. Um, here's, here's Basil Brush. Oh, Jefferson, you are so strong and handsome. I would love... CBBC on BBC One. Oh, Jefferson, you are so strong and handsome. I would love to go on a date with you. <laughs> Found out what that smell was, Jeff. It turns out it was Ian's. What are you doing? Nothing. Certainly not playing with my Blue Peter's Helen doll, if that's what you're thinking. Good, because she's mine. Hey, oh, Ian, no. Yeah, you go and investigate that. I'll get Helen. Helen! Oh, no! No, no, she's fallen down the back. Helen! Helen! Come back! Oh, hello, my dear. What's a lovely young girl like you doing in a sofa like this? What's that? You like, you like me. No, of course you do. Chicks dig the beard. Wise one, you have found proof that giants do exist above us. Now you must believe me. Oh, young fluff. You and your tales of giants. <laughs> Oh. But, but, wise one, you, you are holding a doll that, that one of them plays with when the tall one's not looking. Nonsense, young Fluff. This is my wife. Yes, we totally just got married and we love, aren't we, dear? Yes, we love. Yes, we do. yes, but, wise one, she is plastic. She is a doll. Ah, oh, she is very pretty, isn't she? You're quite right. The green eyed monster is a dangerous thing, young Fluff. You watch that. Now, my dear, what do you say to a lovely wedding feast of grilled woodlouse? on a bed of toenail clippings. Be gone, young fluff. Prepare the feast. There'll be much rejoicing. Hooray! Fine. Come on, Gordon, let's leave the stupid head. What was that? You heard. Ah, think I can reach her. I just, ah, she's stuck in the springs. Give her back, stupid sofa, she's my girlfriend. No, mighty and fearful springs, I'm sorry. Give her back, she's my wife. No. <laughs> All right, Helen, you and I can sit back on a little bit of Tracy Beaker. Where's your leg? No! Woe is me. She's gone before I had a chance to get to know her. Put it down, Gordon. Put it down. A uh, wise one. Dinner will be delayed. What? <laughs> Where's your wife? I, um, I decided it wasn't working out, so we... We separated. Well, she's definitely separated, isn't she, wise one? Oh, uh, she left me this glass slipper to remember her by. The slipper and her leg. It's a memento. Go away. <clears throat> you stupid head. Come on, Gordon. I love you, leg.
Look, I'm sorry, Tracy. I appreciate you were just on, but no, you can't join my club. It's very exclusive. There's no use screaming about it. No! Goodbye! Tell you, that Tracy Beaker is so demanding. Do you have to be on the phone to see BBC stars all day, Dan? That took me ages to get out of the oven. Sorry, done Jeff. That. Priorities. I had to sort things out with my club. What club? My new yoga club. Yoga? What, where, uh, where, 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 where people bend themselves all out of shape to be one with themselves? What do you know about yoga? Took a crash course in it, Jeff. Observe. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't do that at the dinner table. It's a desk, Jeff. Who told you to do that? Some of my friends, Jeff. What friends? I'm the only person who'll talk to you. Not true, Jeff. My friends in my new yoga club. Really? Can I join? Afraid not, Jeff. It's very exclusive. What? But I'm sorry, Jeff. There's a lot of rules to Yoga Club. I just don't think you'd be able to do them. Well, well what rules? They're secret. Well, I don't believe you. I think you're making all this up. There is no Yoga Club. Oh, yeah? Yeah, can... yeah. Prove it. All right. I will. Hold on. There they are. That one I call her the sound of one hand clapping. There's my little grasshopper. That one's hidden tiger. There's crouching dragon. And that's Lotus Flower. Uh, all right, great. You can do yoga. You've got yoga friends. Thank you. Go on, you were right. I was wrong. Show off. Rub my face in it. Oh, it's not part of yoga to show off, Jeff. It's not in our nature. Or oh, maybe yoga's been good for you, Dan. Ah, you? who am I kidding? It's so part of yoga. Hit it! Yeah! Well, Dan, now we can see that they're... Oh, shut up and play a leg.